Hello guys! In this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to draw basic face proportions. So if you want to learn how to draw a face, this is the fastest and the simplest way to get a good face proportion, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing to do is to put one dot, one up and one down and connect these two dots or lines with one straight vertical line. After you do this, split this vertical line in three equal parts. This is going to determine where the eyes, nose and the lips are going to be placed. Now this was pretty easy. Now take the measure of this one third and just transfer it on both sides horizontally, both left and right. And this is going to determine the width of our face. Once you do this, try finding the middle of this vertical line as well. This will also help us with the eyes, so make sure to find the middle of the vertical line. Now, once you've done all of this, you can create a basic shape of the face. Now you can determine how is that going to look like. The face can be a bit slim, chubby, oval, however you decide. Remember, this is just a practice. We are doing a bit more stylized portrait and since we don't have the reference photo, we can do here whatever we like. And this doesn't have to be symmetrical at all because most of these lines are not going to be seen once we add uh, the hair. They are just our guidance for building our face further. Now, once you finish with that, we can start working on placing our eyes, nose and the lips. So you can see that we placed the line horizontally where we split the line in half. But we also want to have a horizontal line where the upper third of the line is, which is right above the middle one. So once you place both lines, split both right and left part in the half like this. And then split those half again horizontally and like this, we are getting the placement of the eyes. Now once you finish with this, you can see these two dots here. Pull them vertically like this downwards straight to the second third and you will get the placement of the nose. This was quite easy as well. Now listen carefully. In order to get the lip line, we need to find one third between the chin and the eyebrows. Now the eyebrows are always placed somewhere in the upper line, the highest line here. So try finding one third between the chin and the upper line and you will find your lip line. The width of the lips can vary and we all have different width of the lips, but in order to find the most basic one, split those little halves of the eyes one more time right next to the nose line there and pull two vertical lines right where the lip line is and there is your lips width. And here it is, the most basic face proportion. Now I'm just going to erase some lines here, you don't have to do this, I am just making the sketch a bit more clean, you can do that later. But now we can start working on some basic shapes of the eyes first. You can draw the eyes however you wish, again we don't use the reference photo here, so don't aim towards everything being very symmetrical because no face is symmetrical. If you get a closer look at yourself in the mirror, you will realize how your eyes are different your left part of the face is different than your right, so at this stage there is no need for you to be obsessed with getting everything symmetrical, this is just a practice, and if you came this far, you are doing a very good job already. And we can always work on some corrections later on if needed, but right now focus on getting some basic shape of the eyes. You can place the eyebrows in between the highest horizontal line here, And when it comes to the nose, just put three circles. The middle one has to be the largest and then place two smaller one uh, like this. And then when it comes to the lips, place the lip line however you prefer. And you can also place two circles on the upper lip just so you like it would be easier for you to get some nice shape of the upper lip. Place the down lip wherever you prefer as well. I usually like to place it somewhere in the middle of the lip line and the end of the chin, so you can do that as well. 
And here we got the very basic shape of the eyes, nose and the lips. Now these last stages are completely up to you. You get to decide how are you going to shape the eyes, the pupil and all the rest. I didn't want to stress out here about the details. I layered one thicker line on the upper part of the eyes just because I love to have a bit more stylized eyes. I love drawing makeup. So this is the only reason for it. If you don't prefer this, just make the line very basic and uh, not this thick. You can basically do whatever you want here. You have a complete freedom to work on this however you want. Now, this is the whole beauty of drawing anyways. If you go through these basic steps, the possibilities after are just endless. I also created a bit thicker line where the eyelids are and I also wanted to create a bit bigger eyes here. Now, this is also something that is completely up to you. You can make them smaller whenever I draw freehand and without a reference I always like to have my eyes a bit more wider um, or bigger in general so this is also something that is completely up to you. You can stylize your eyes however you prefer. If you're not sure how to draw the eyes I have a tutorial on how to draw the eyes for beginners so make sure to check that tutorial out. The link is in the description down below. After you're done with the eyes, you can create a basic shape of the nose like this as well. And these circles are helping us in creating a basic shape of the nose. You can see how easy it is to get a good looking nose with just three circles here. And then you can also stylize your lips by your desire. I decided to go with a bit thicker lips as I always do, but in, like, in case you don't prefer this, you can always Go with something thinner maybe, wider, this is again completely up to you. After I finished with the lips, I added some basic lines on the eyebrows. You can also play here with the thickness of the eyebrows. They can be thinner, wider, and don't be afraid to experiment. Try different shapes, you can always erase it if you don't like it. I mean, what is the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> Nothing. You can erase it and start again. You have to create something that you don't like, so you would learn and this is the best way to learn something by making certain mistakes and experimenting. So the eraser is there, you can erase whatever you don't like and experiment now with the shapes and form as much as possible. Now I just made some lines on the chin a bit darker just so I would like be sure if I place them in the right position that I want and once I did that I also made one darker layer on the upper lip to create a very basic contrast. You can do that or don't of course it's completely up to you and then I wanted to add some more eyelashes so I decided to place a bit longer ones here. Um, now also make sure to place the eyelashes in the right direction. If you're not sure how to draw them, again, make sure to check out my tutorial on how to draw the eyes for beginners. It's in the description down below. Now you can play here with certain shades. I just added a lighter shade of the nose on the cheekbones um, and on the forehead. But again, if you don't feel like doing this and if you feel safer not to do this at this point, just leave it as it is and we can transfer to the best part. And that is of course the hair. Now, when it comes to the hair, place the section of the hair wherever you want. I decided that I'm going to place it um, a bit more on the right side and then slowly start adding the form of the hair. Place it over these basic headlines that we uh, drew before, just so we could get a bit more natural look of the whole face. I decided to go with a bit more wavy hair here and you can, of course, Make it more straight if you wish and also you get to decide the thickness of the hair as well on both sides. You can decide this as you go. I place some basic shapes and forms of the hair and then later I decide um, to have the hair a bit to have the hair a bit thicker and I just added 
few more lines on both sides there and I got a bit more like volumey on both sides. Now this tutorial is for beginners. If you never had a chance to draw like a face before, I'm sure that this video will help you a lot. I wanted to create a portrait in a bit stylized way just so you won't be terrified right from the start if we did this in a bit more realistic way. You can of course work on this portrait a bit further and you can end up with something uh, realistic of course. This tutorial was made so you could get to understand the basic face proportion and you can use this face proportion for basically any face just so you could place the basic forms and then modify it in case you have a reference. Some people will have the eyes a bit more down, some of them will have the nose a bit thicker or thinner, some will have the forehead a bit wider or smaller, it all depends from a face to face. I also wanted to create this tutorial because I already made one which has an amazing 1.4 million views so far. But now I wanted to create a tutorial that is even easier than the one I did before. So I'm very positive that you will find this tutorial helpful and that it will help you out in realizing that drawing faces is not that hard and it's not that terrifying. And here it is, this is our final result. Hope you got some very cute portraits guys, let me know in the comment section down below how was your drawing session with me, make sure to check out more of my tutorials on how to draw faces and the face features and I see you all in another video. Much love guys, bye bye!